Aeon's name spent playing the mission you've all been waiting for. Rain with a definite stopping point. Here's the story. It's quite long-winded. It's a loose sequel to Between These Dark Walls, and there's a book of the stone involved. But basically, the gist is we're stealing an opal. Will it be a cat or a gem? I don't know. But here's the second part of the story. Well, let's go. As always, we must be an expert. Find at the gates and the walls of Monsecour. Prized opal, moon tier because it's Majora's mask up in here, and redistribute it to yourself. Monsegur's position as warden of Stone Market and Lower Locks is extremely contested, and he is meticulous and cautious, so his manner is without a shadow of doubt protected. Monsegur must keep some notes on his associates and enemies. See if you can find these. Lord Felton passed away recently and had a priceless ruby in his possession. He doesn't need it anymore, so steal it. Cutty also told you that one of the wealthiest aristocrats in Stone Market owns a rare pagan relic. Find it and steal it as well. Prove you're the best by swiping at least 2,500 worth of valuables tonight. A true professional doesn't leave a mess. Don't kill anyone. Once you're done, return to where you started. Standard stuff? Oh, a loadout screen with a tip and some gossip? Pfft, I obviously need those. Maybe uh, another flash bomb and maybe a few waters or something. Oh, I'm already... Out of stuff. No ropes because my usual supplier won a free lottery ticket and jumped up and down screaming in the street and then got famous because they want to use your picture with a big old pony on the shirt. Pony, 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 pony. Horses, I like to ride them. I don't. I've never ridden a horse. Actually, I have, but I was like minus one year old, so it was in a past life. Hereby declared by Burgomaster Hart, with consent from Lord Monsegur, protector of our noble quarter. In the wake of the recent thefts and other burglaries plaguing our noble borough, let it be known that the Baron's police and the Order of the Hammer have taken drastic measures to eradicate the criminal element crawling within the walls of a stone market. Housemasters and mistresses are advised to double the guard on their grounds and close their gates and windows until this affair is dealt with. Oh. Hereby declared by Burgermaster Flippenburgers, the good Lord Montagur, in his undying generosity, offers 500 gold pieces to anyone who would bring the wretched criminals plaguing the borough before him or before an officer of the Baron's police, and offers 100 gold pieces to anyone who would give accurate and verified information on their whereabouts. Know that anyone helping these cowards is as good as dead and shall be harshly punished. Hereby declared, uh, blah, 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 blah. let it be known that no beggar, nor any other man, woman, nor child may roam the streets after the eleventh toll of the bell, except under direct consent of the burger master. Any fellow caught wandering the streets without such authorization shall taste the whip accordingly. I want to taste the whip. It's candy colored. Mm, mm. And this guy's not so candy colored, though. He's quite disgustingly vomit colored. So, I guess the Thieves Highway is pretty obscure in this one. That is the word the author has used. Skacky himself has used the word obscure. Alert the Queen. So I could climb up anytime I wish, except I can't because I've got no rope arrows. I've got to find them in case you didn't read that thing. So, there's some amount here, I think. I don't remember if it said how many. But, uh, yeah, this is, of course, Thief Gold with vanilla resources. <laughs> Why? But... <laughs> It does look pretty atmospheric for such. Actually, this is really, really good looking for vanilla, but it does still look vanilla with all the weird colors jutting around everywhere. Hello? Although I seem to be a fan of weird colors jutting around everywhere. Uh, I should uh, I should take LSD all the time and every day. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just snuggled in the corner, stopped from moving by some invisible force. Must be LSD sticking out of this wall. I don't know anything about anything. This bridge looks like a mechanist bridge because it's metal. Who would ever build a bridge for metal? Oh, it's a hammer. Hey. Ah, I am a hammer. I, I think I sound good right now, but as soon as I try to voice Nothing act, to my microphone now. sounds like cardboard. <coughs> because there's just no turning back in the realm of hammerhood. Fur. Stone market clock tower maintenance. Warning. Do not enter. Trespassers will receive the builder's righteous punishment. Ah, this is not how you yell. It's the stupid, breathy way to yell. But, but, did I just hear static? No, it's a weird light thing. You may notice I'm not climbing. This is because I have no ropes and also I'm rebelling against the system. Oh, but seriously, you know what? People obviously not... People obviously are getting conked in the head everywhere and yet no one is doing anything about. Nay, 
Nay, soul sister, I will not. Nay. <laughs> That's a crying horse sound. I'm really, really good at voice acting animals. So if you need me for your Warner Brothers cartoons, well then, uh, I'm your man. But make sure not to tell anyone in the modern age that cartoon animals can be a thing because I hear it's not trendy with haters these days. So if you want to be a hater, well, you know what to hate now. Where the hell did that guy go? I don't know. I think these may be the same things in his undying generosity. Oh, the Baron! <laughs> the Baron! We've all got hard-ons for him. And or the Burgomeister or whatever the hell that guy is. The Lord. He's just a random Lord because in these old days, anyone can be a Lord. You don't have to be the lord, you could just be a lord, and it's all like, yeah. Who the hell is noising about there in the real house? I don't know, but I am babbling a lot, so whatever. At least I'm not screaming into my rift, but they knew nothing was going on, probably, because I have this newfangled gadget. Right, guys? Yeah. Okay. No, Nobody heard me. Um. Yeah. Hey, it does look good. It, it does look good, although the sky is a sickeningly color of smog or acid or something. London fog, well, they do sort of go and use the builder's righteous machinery to pump smoke in everybody's face as such. Although, uh, is it on as large a scale as needed to cause widespread smog? I don't know. How big of a thing do you need to cause smog? I don't think that's quite related, and also it's a personal question. I should get a bag, okay, I've said that. Waterway port colors control. Nice. I have the power to control the gates. Just keep on running. Forget what you've been told. I can sing in an LP as long as I use this voice, because it's amusing and, and kinda hurts to do. But that's not natural. It'll stop hurting as soon as I get some MRI results back, except there will be none. Because as soon as you start thinking about a thing, you don't get it. That is the weird thing about life that I have discovered. My technique for doing a thing is to just discover that you want to do a thing and then immediately forget about it and stop caring, which is incredibly difficult. It is. But it is effective when you can do it, at least to me. It's kind of literally the secret of life. It's actually, seriously, at least to me, it's quite impressive. But, uh, the, the challenge is that prevents you from being a Mary Sue Alicorn OC who's red and black is that it's hard to do. So that's how life balances itself out. Yeah. Come on now. Come on. I'm trying to climb up the rope. It should not be hard. Getting to heaven should not be hard. We're going through the eye of the needle right now. It's a big needle. Nobody ever said anything about the size of it. Or maybe they did. Do I look like a guy who's read the Bible for educational purposes? Or any other purpose? No. I only know badass... Words such as thou and thee, those totally come from the Bible. Someone. You know, it's it's sort of the Bible of awesome language, and also some very weird stuff apparently, but hey, who cares? Got to obey that old style ye old talking to the letter, never mind any other crap, such as love thy neighbor, or Jesus possibly being an okay guy, but his followers being fanatical, at least if we're to believe life of Brian, I am not at all informed enough to be making any opinions mm -hmm. on anything. But I do have a few opinions, but mostly none. Because, seriously, you're gonna argue over whether Fluttershy would steal cake? Look at that awesome mule! Jeez! Okay, well, right, I seem to be in some sort of a monastery or some courtyard that looks kind of like St. Yoras. Ooh. Are you sure this is stock? Because it looks pretty good, and stock, as we all know, looks absolutely laughably horrid. So, uh, yeah. It can't possibly be of what I said, but no, this isn't a monastery, it's a mansion. They both start with M, but they're not both metal. A monastery is the most metal thing, because a lot of metal songs about religion, some of them are even positive about it. <laughs> if it's white metal or just Christian metal, there's not wrong with that, you know, I mean, uh, I heard a Christian rapper one time and he talked about his faith and I was like, hey, right on, dude, you're a great rapper, you've got an awesome flow and you're talking about your faith because you like your faith, hey, man, I don't have a problem with you, dude. And there's nothing making dark now either, so, uh, yeah. And I say, yeah, all the time. I am feeling a little bit tired and exhausted today, so don't you mind me if I say weird shit. Hey, give me a hug. Hey, you've got a key. Nice. It's a safe key, as opposed to a dangerous key. Let's get dangerous. 
Oh, we have already gotten dangerous. Well, fair enough. Oh, he already landed himself in darkness. How convenient. Now I have to find a safe. He seems to be the lord of this house. More stories and more loot. A letter to Hart. Oh, Hart, how I love you. You keep my body alive. I wish to make sweet, passionate love to you by ripping you out and then somehow... No, wait, I changed my mind. Burgomaster Hart, I am most displeased to see your relative lack of commitment to our little housebreaking problem. I am not paying you nor your men to slack off. I want these remaining interlopers dealt with and sent to Craigscleft by next week. I don't care how many men you must send to scour the streets or the rooftops, and I don't care if you have to do it either. I'm paying you well enough to do your job, and you obviously don't. If any of Stone Market's noble households suffer one more burglary, I'm afraid you'll have an unfortunate accident in the nearby river pretty soon. One of my underlings is more than capable to take over your job should this incident occur. Lord Monsagor, blood and the stores of the Citadel. Okay, that joke's getting old. Two weeks! It's been two weeks those bastards have been robbing me. I'm pretty sure they are Webster's boys, even though Fien seems to be quite belligerent lately. I'll have that incompetent lackwit heart put some bowmen on the belvederes and parapets, just to be sure. He better double the number of guards patrolling the streets as well. I do not pay him to be lazy. The situation in Lower Locks is good, however. Nothing out of the ordinary to report. Blimey! <laughs> I just discovered a gambling den on my own turf! This cannot continue. Hart is more incompetent than I thought, and I think Burroughs would be a far better Burgomaster than Hart is, even if his connections to this Larlock Society, or whatever it's called, trouble me. Not that I dislike paganism, but he is a tad too vocal about it. <laughs> anyway, I must stay focused and shut down that establishment. In the meantime, those rooftop breakers are still on the prowl, but we caught two of them. One of them fell to his death, the idiot. I'll have the other hanged like the dog he is. Webster wants to play. I'll show him how it's done under my rule. I sent Payne to infiltrate that gambling den, and it looks like this establishment, Dreckbound, is operated by some shady but stupid fellow called Ginny, and he answers directly to Lord Bafford. Ha! If Ramirez thinks he can freely operate in my territory, he is dead wrong. I'll tell Burroughs to tip the hammers off about it, and Ramirez will surely turn red when he learns the hammers have been shutting down his little operation. No real news concerning our burglars, though. They are most probably in hiding in the dark alleyways of the district. I sincerely hope for heart his policemen will find them soon. Alrighty then. That is the end of that Betty Bye story. So... Let's go find a safe. Let's get safe. What the hell is that guy? Jeez, he must be downstairs. Also, this guy's rather in the way. He'll probably be seen there, but oh well. Yeah, more doors that don't function, as is the tradition. I like that rain sound. Although I like the multiple rain sounds in Kotapa and... Uh, Storm Drain Peak kind of better because there's multiple ones and stuff, but hey, rain is rain and rain is good and rain is kind of peaceful except when it's too stormy. And you can take a car if you have a car, which I don't because I'm uh, totally afraid of losing money all the time. I know it's a vice. It never happens. I just constantly gain money, in fact. I know I constantly gain money every single month. It's great. Here's a library. Any more stories for poor old me? Any more coins on windowsills? No, but there may be some in the flower bed. Oh, but there's a switch. Flower bed. What just opened there? What just opened? I heard something right to my side. Oh, was it something in the roof? Yes, indeed. Well, well, well. Had I a rope, I could get up there, dang it! Are they gonna be, like, supra hard to find? Or are they just going to be Del Sol difficult? Well... Bad day for me, looks like. Except I can go in these rooms. I, I don't think these guys would randomly be keeping rope arrows in their mansion, unfortunately enough. Sorry for whipping the mouse around there, but I constantly have to look at the window, so, because I'm like, where? What's there? What's there? What's there? What's there? What's there? What's there? Okay. This is a little too much of a goofy episode, but those have us of times. Hey there, Ginny servant guy. You're not Ginny at all. You're a servant. You don't drink mm. gin. You're not allowed to. But you now have this voice here. Mm. Probably done by the great Stephen Russell, I think, who can do just about any voice on the face of the earth, like any great voice actor of of their salt. 
worth their salt probably comes from a time when salt was valuable. I'm just kind of guessing. <laughs> well, this is the quarters for two guards. Uh, they're not. They're not very affordable. They're they're kind of broke, so they can only afford to. A butler's letter. Kevil. How thrilling it must be to work for someone such as Lord Monsignor. My master, Lord Bafford, is an insufferable and dim taffer, and working as his butler is the worst torture you could possibly imagine. Why, just yesterday, I went to the annual butlers of the city meeting, and, like last year's edition and the years before, I won the Who Has the Stupidest Master contest again by a large margin. That is a Blackadder reference, of course. Where's my cookie? If it weren't for the South Quarter pubs, I would have sent my resignation letter a while ago. Oh well, I just hope you're doing fine. I miss our evenings spent drinking. Marcus. Oh, was someone named Kevil, because he is in the stock voice sense. Is that you, Kevil? Alright, well, let's go downwards. I'm surely I'll find a rope arrow in the opposite place of up, which is to say down. Imagine going on a spiral staircase with a rift. I would be like, where's my vomit bowl right about now? But, uh, hey, maybe not. Also, to get Thief working with the Oculus Rift, you need a program called Oculus Overlay. That has not been updated to work with the DK2 yet. If it is, I will definitely try to use it immediately, just to, so you all know. Although, wait, didn't I just clamp here? Oh yeah, this is this door. Although the Oculus Rift is of course meant for the uh, wearer to be immersed, and it really is very much a pale, pale, pale shadow. Oh, this is just the courtyard again. Of, uh, of what it could be. Wait a minute. When I display it on YouTube, so who really knows? Do get a lot of views though, so maybe people really do like to see it. I think there may be other directions to go from here, and possibly even other directions in the mansion? I went in one of these doors. Okay, I didn't go in this one. See? They call me Lucky Gladstone, because I have a stone I'm really glad about. Ah. <laughs> Drinking from the expensive stuff, so they're not broke. Well, they are broke, because they've bought so much wine, that they cannot afford m but two guards. Okay, this... Okay, now I'm back in here. I like these little planter pots. Uh, maybe I am warming up to this stock resource use a bit. I still think it's a sort of an odd restriction, but... Hey, it does look fairly good. Where the hell am I going? don't really have my bearings here. Okay, this... Okay, so this is new. Theoretically. I just keep thinking there should be coins under those vases or something. What was that noise? Oh, shh. Yet. Man, that was worthy Nothing of a now. curse. It's a curse worth. Oh, hey. How's it going, mate? Abusing the engine, but you can only do it from behind. <laughs> that's, that's definitely uh, abuse. Well, somebody's blood spilled, probably mine, definitely mine, obviously. Because nobody ever bleeds when being smashed very, very, very hard over the head with a big, solid, hard blackjack. Oh, hey. These windows are, are windows, and they're openable. They go onto the street. Still no ropes, I don't think. Uh, I mean, I have to remember where the hell this place is so I can come back and rope up wherever the hell it was. I've forgotten already. Okay, it was only the one window? Yeah. Well, let's hit the pipe. Oh, ho, 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 ho. In old dark, that would have meant certain death. But a uh, good thing quick saves are a thing. Okay. That's actually what people sound like when they die. That's why funerals are so somber. They have to have a somber as hell atmosphere to counteract the accidental laughter potential of someone going when they're dead. Although that's actually not funny. It's stupid humor that only 1930s wacky quote unquote comedians would do. Hey, I didn't knock this guy out. What's his problem? This is your last warning. Either you hand that gemstone over or you die. You know who? Another gemstone? Or is that the one I'm going for? I'm going for an opal. I don't know if that's the one I'm going for. Surely I haven't got to the end of the mission accidentally already. Hey, I like those chains. Are those stock? Surely those objects are custom. Maybe there's like a few select custom objects or something. Hey, more stairs. Oh, and I'm skipping a level. I, I am so rebellious. I'm gonna walk into a car dealer with a rocket launcher, blast the crossovers, and drive off in a hot Miata. You look very, very severe about your job there, buddy. You've even got a head implant and, and everything. But you're just another unconscious body to me. I don't even know your name. I don't know why I would know your name, in fact. Actually, yeah. But yeah, he's wearing a thieves uniform, so he's the leader of some sort of thief. Diamond cutter's key. Well, the key's right. Oh, I can see. I'm supposed to go here and go like, hey, how do I get into there? But I have to come from the other direction, presumably. Interesting, I guess. Um, that thing's a bit anorexic. I'll just take it and put it on a eating a lot of food diet. What is this? 
some sort of jail cell, some sort of pass the credit card under the thing to some stranger so they can type in your number clumsily. Oh, well, now that I'm on the street, I guess I'll keep being on the street and continue looking for a way to climb, I guess. Someone there? Mm. Oh, no. These guys have pretty good eyesight in the pitch dark, <coughs> don't they? Well, this guy must have come from somewhere. And somewhere is a dead end, so he turned around. Well, I would turn around at a dead end, too, I suppose. I want to climb. That's so weird that it doesn't give you ropes, but I guess it's part of the story, and it's full of tense and suspense and stuff. These are these stock. They, they look mighty good. And I'm already losing my ability to speak. These are probably just the same three, I would guess. No man, nor child, nor beggar. This is the property of the most honorable Lord Montsegur! Trespassers will be harshly punished! Okay, that's how you really yell, but you've got to lean away from the mic. No compression will deal with that. It needs normalization, which may just be a word for the same thing. No, I don't think so. But I I've only ever seen it in old audio programs. It might not exist anymore. It's pretty weird. Something doesn't exist. Yep. That guy. That guy. That. That guy. I don't know why it's so fun to do that voice, but I don't care. I don't need to care why it's fun to be a creep. I just be a creep. Whoa. No, no, I don't. Well, again, can't really seem to end on something climactic. So I guess I'll just go in a random door, which I've been in, and end up at the waterway portcullis. Uh-oh. I think I got spotted! Alright, you you shall be my last takedown for the episode. So now that I've done absolutely nothing of any sort of uh, climactic curve, I'm going to end it here. So see you guys next time, or at least... See you guys next time as soon as I find a place that's actually dark. Oh. Here we sort of go. Bye!